Hello everybody! Don't we all see little red roosters everywhere now? This one! It's again because the times are going gaga and you ask yourself what is this guy wearing there? It's called Christmas present from my mama and because it looks stupid I take, use these fake glasses to look more intellectual and before I talk more bullshit come on let's do it before the little red roosters get you. Enjoy! So hello everybody to my head section for this tutorial. You need two things for this because we're going to have a lot to do. It's a nice Earl Grey tea. It's a good booster for blues piano. And this little fella, it's a fox. My last name is Fox. So I'm here already with you. Let's start. It's a long, so we have to focus again on the things I assume will cause you headache or even foot ache. And since we love that so much, let's do something about it. <clears throat> The first thing is rhythmical, of rhythmical nature, it's, we have a lot of these here. These here. There are three triplets, um, and the middle triplet is two sixteen. so it's bam, ba, da, dum. Again, one. Okay, together. See? 
quite hard. We have a lot of these trills. Try to manage some of them. You can leave out some, but the trills in this context mean holding out a note. Singers can hold out notes if they have the breath. Trumpet players can do so. Piano cannot do so. It's in that sense, it's handicapped. So the trill helps us holding out the note. Try some of them. They're nice here. And we move on. We have also plenty of the slides here. In combination with trills, try to practice the slides also. You can leave some out. For example, if I have this one, that's harder than just doing. That's just fine as well. So, um, so you make it a little bit easier there for you. We have a lot of uh, choruses here. So from the solo, you can pick your favorite chorus also. You don't have to do all of it. It's just a, an offer from me to you if you want to also learn some licks or if you're just very ambitious to manage a whole piece. Otherwise, just pick one or two choruses and go straight to the final verse. Also, I think many are sitting in front of the television just waiting for, the, for something new to happen on Netflix. So we can do something new here. And this is a new sound. It's a trill that comes on the offbeat and it's a great sound it sounds like um where do we have it here um for example or a little bit later we have yeah practice with me one second no that you start the trill already on the offbeat it's a great, lovely sound. Okay. Okay, if you can trill, otherwise go to my how to trill tutorial, make your life a bit more meaningful. Uh, you find uh, aspects of my teachings, just type in how to trill Christian Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S, anywhere, type it on your old typewriter, but preferably in the, uh, on the thing called Google or YouTube. Let's move on. Furthermore, you have in some instances, we have the melody up here. We play, for example, um, it's, where is it, uh, bar number, where is the bloody bar number, Christian? I promised my sheet music readers some bar numbers, and now I don't have them here. Oh, 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 Christian, that's scary, scary stuff. Okay, anyway, we have this. Um... Now we have empty space, and you play the fill in. And then you go up to the melody and we have that a couple of times. So what students love to do is when they have this empty space, like uh, the, the big uh, end of phrase, empty space, what they do is they think of, um, of trees, they think of uh, apple pie, but they don't think of what's coming. They don't think of what's coming. In your real life, you know, you, th you, you think of what's coming. And here they just waste the time. So you hear, and you know already, you look ahead, you know what's coming, you don't waste time. You put your hand right here in position, okay? It's called looking ahead. You know that from driving a car. Here, ready. Next thing. Here. up and you go down and we have a couple of moments uh, where we have to do quite a jump so it's a good exercise we'll come to that a bit later and then Here uh, I mention a little bit the form. The form is a little bit different, like all of us are a little bit different. But we cannot stand it if the form is a little bit different, right? Because we are so much into the uh, 12 bar blues form that the, if, if there is a change, we just hate it. And here the, um, we are, we are on, on, on E. Three and four and now we expect the um, the bar D, uh, uh, it's not coming. It's not coming. He's screwing with us, Willie Dixon. It's another bar coming E, and then 
then we have just one bar of and then so you see one E bar is doubled and we have just one D bar and then we go to the turnaround remember that remember that that's quite unusual here and I needed months to get over this okay still have a trauma then we have the uh, next bit and this um, deals with the finger setting now I'm back to my bars it's bar number 29 30 31 32 bar 32 we play this up here first finger setting we have this a lot in blues right our magic uh, i call them the um the uh, royal thirds the royal because they're just you know aristocratic that's that's it so and if you play them like uh, beginners very often play them like all with one two one three five you can do that many of the old classic uh, masters are doing that as well but they have a talent contrary to you so they didn't have uh, piano lessons and they had, didn't have uh, excellent tutorials like mine. So it's nice if you want to um, uh, tie, tie it better and it's much better in the hand if you do one, two, three, one, two, four, one, three, five. I know you're not going to do it anyway. I know you guys, but it's just my recommendation because later on you might play boogies like and then this is getting really harder. Just telling you, just telling you, you clicked on my tutorial. I didn't. I wouldn't so okay and then we have we have this uh, funny rhythm thing at the same position ha ha what is that and this is um, we count we count you know this the thing with the numbers one and two and three and four and one Pop. So the um, this one, it's coming right between these two guys here, here, and the rest is normal. Okay, it's the second of the triplets if you want to know it in astrophysical terms. Here, it's very good and very important in blues piano. Uh, it sounds just great. Just sounds great. I have to enrich my vocabulary, learn a couple of new words and just great and nice. It sounds fabulous, marvelous, magnificent, stupendous, uh, anything else, refined, sophisticated. As a, and two, and three, and four, and one. Bop, 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 bop. Okay? One more time for the slow ones. One, and two, and three, and four and one I stopped counting there multitasking is not my thing I'm male as you hopefully know okay so but this is coming back so I teach you the things that are repeating here so you don't have to like uh, whatever uh, learn it over uh, each time over and over again so you better use the brain to remember and <laughs> This is all ba ba ba. Ah, here we here we go again. Then we have um, uh, just uh, uh, bar number twenty uh, thirty five. We have one and two, one and also also prime blues piano rhythm. It feels like it's stretching, you know. What is it? It's the same second triplet. Bop, bop, bop. You know, we have baka, bam, baka, ba, baka, ba. The real professionals say baka, like Chewbacca, uh, the master of triplets. So we have baka, ba, baka. Same as before, second triplet. Wam, bak, wam, bak. And down we go. Bam. Thing from the beginning 
same thing, two sixteenths in the middle. One more time. And then we have here the fill. And up, that's what I talked uh, before. We have something here. And here. Move down fast. Do something here. If, if it's too hard, you leave it out. If you're good, if you want to be proud of yourself and boast for me, then... And then we go up again, okay? And then you do this little run, you do it separately. You do it. The first one is two notes at one time. You know? Bam, 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 bam. Just normal triplets, just a run, do it separately, and then do it together. Wap and. Okay? Bam! That's a trick. So, and because we have now, I have to play this chorus for you, where I do this thing. We play a little bit um, echoing, okay? Like we have it once, we have it down here. We double it. We double it. We triple it. We triple it. And we stretch the octaves. See? Nice one. Double, triple, we make, the, we make the rhythm feel closer, coming together, and then we open it again with the bam, 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 bam. Um, it's like... Bam, bam. So you can read it as triplets, as fourth triplets, but you can also read it like bam, together, tri middle, octa middle uh, triplet, and same again, again. Again. I just realized in the sheet music I have uh, written down it as uh, as a fourth triplets, but all of you, please um, do it also like this. Just watch me play it, because uh, fourth triplets are hard to learn, and it's weekend already, and the Lord said, no, he said, I think the Lord said, you must not work except practice blues piano. That's what he said, Old Testament. And again. And then you're just fine. You're fine anyway. So, and then we have... Uh, bam. That's all easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and this is all easy, this is all easy. Then we have... You can do it also with two fingers, because the triplets are relatively fast. You can do it like... Here, it's here. Or with one finger. As you please. That's one of the few uh, freedoms I give you in my tutorials. Then uh, the rest is a little bit um, the same. We've talked about the major problems. Um, well, not your major problems. I hope they're not too big. I think we have all have the same major problems during these days of the fucking virus. May I say so? Yes, fucking virus. Okay. And send, uh, one remark again to um, a tr um, like when we have a chord and we want to extend the sound. Um, we, you can do the old uh, Christian trick, just uh, trill the outer voice like... That's just fine. If you're really good, you roll it, baby. No? Roll it, roll it. Um, or you do it like this. I think very often I do it like this. I'm not doing the advanced version. I am just was just showing off. So I think I very often do... Um, a little, a little. And that's, that's great. You treat this as one note. Practice a little bit and then go down. We see him again. Here, uh, what we are, where are we? Uh, anyway, so I know we are down here already. Okay. Ah, 
and the last one is here. I don't want to leave you alone with that one. Many of you know that already. If you don't subscribe, I teach you everything here about life, about love, about blues piano. And this one is for the love of blues piano. It's this way of playing. It's the, with the two fingers and it's a great sound. Take your time, practice it. It's a great blues piano sound. And you may find love with that already because somebody might hear it and fall in love because you can play it. So. Blues piano tutorials are the modern par ships and tinders. Okay. Here. Ah, snap it. Snap it, baby. Snap. Practice that with me. Come on. Okay. Here we go. There was plenty. I hope your head is not boiling. I hope just your water is boiling for your next Earl Grey tea. I loved this piece and I loved it to teach to you. And as you might have realized, I'm in a good mood. So um, see my next tutorial. Uh, next thing I think is coming, uh, Green Onions, another blues classic, Green Onions, fantastic. Take care, all the best, stay safe, stay healthy and stay in good spirits. That's really important, really important at the moment. Stay in good spirits, people. Bye from Berlin.
I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.